Hey guys, and welcome to a new video on this Neural Networks and Deep Learning tutorial. In this video here, we're going to do predictions on CAPTCHAs with the trained OCR model that we actually like trained on in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that out where we created the OCR model with recurrent neural networks and we're using the CTC uh, loss function. So we can actually like uh, have the non-aligned data in our data set because when we have these CAPTCHAs here, we actually like not have ali aligned our data set because we're reading in each of the individual digits as I'm going to show you uh, later on. So this video here, we're doing predictions on the captures with that trained OCR model. And, we can, and we're going to see if we're actually like able to predict these different kinds of captures on data that it hasn't seen before. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server. I'll link to it down in the description here, and you can come chat with us about neural networks, deep learning, computer vision, and a lot of stuff like that. And also, you can also be a member of the channel here if you want to support the channel with a small monthly fee. Everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. So let's just have a short recap over what we went over in the last video. So we're going to read these different kind of captures here by using deep learning. So we created this OCR model here, which contains some different kind of convolutional layers, some max pooling layers. And then on top of that, we created some recurrent neural networks where we have this feedback here from the outputs to the actual inputs. So these recurrent neural networks is really good at predicting and training on sequential data. So we have these uh, captures here where we have like numbers followed by digits. Uh, and, and, and the other way around. So we can see down here at the bottom, we have these different kind of images here that we're going to load in. And we have these non-aligned uh, digits and the uh, characters here in our image. And then we actually like have trained our neural network on these images here now. And in this video, we're going to do actual predictions with that trained model and see if it's really able to do predictions and reading these captures here. And so we can actually like get the labels and it can see like uh, what are the different kind of like characters, what are the different kind of like uh, numbers here in the images. And then we want to predict the true labels by just passing these images here to our neural network. So let's now jump into the code here and see if we can actually do predictions with our OCR model that we have created and trained on the on the captures training set. So first of all, here we're just going to have a short recap over the model that we created in the in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check that out so you know what's going on. Because in this video, we're just going to do predictions with that model that we that we trained, and then we're going to see like if we can actually like do predictions on on captures and actually like read them letter by letter and number by number. So the summary here of the model is that we have like a convolutional layer followed by a max pooling layer and then we have another convolutional layer, a max pooling layer, then we have a dense layer here after we have reshaped our, uh, our convolutional blocks here or like the output from the convolutional two, uh, blocks. Then we have some dropout and then we have two recurrent layers here. So we have like two bi-directional uh, recurrent layers here. So we actually have this feedback loop where we can store the information from the outputs of, of these layers here as well. And then at the end here, we just have this uh, output dense layer here. So we can actually like do predictions um, on our classes or the different kind of letters and uh, characters that we have in our captures. And then at the end here, we have this CTC layer here, which we all also went over like because we're using CTC loss in this example here because we're working with uh, handwritten uh, digits and also um, letters. So we have the total number of parameters here around like a, a, a bit above 400,000 here. So we actually created this model here and then we trained it here uh, over a number of epochs. We actually trained it for 100 epochs. We called uh, the fit function here with the training set that we had and also the validation set. And then we trained the neural network for 100 epochs as we can see here. And then after we were done training the neural network, we went down here and plotted the actual like um, history or like the logs from the neural networks. So we are plotting the loss here in this example. So we can see like how the loss is actually like decreasing over the number of epochs when we're training our neural network. So we can see here like around like from uh, from tw from uh, the, the 20th epoch here to around like 60 to 80. We actually uh, we actually like learning all of the different kind of stuff here about our captures. So in this area here, we're actually like learning and we can see that our loss is decreasing a lot. And we can actually like see that we're, we're ending with a, a fairly low loss uh, for this application here. So we can see that we're learning over the number of epochs and when we have 100 here we have converged uh, towards the global minimum so now we're going to do predictions with this model that we have now uh, created and trained on on the data set that we load in and pre-processed it as uh, in the last video so first of all here we're going to get the prediction uh, prediction model by extracting the layers uh, till the output layer from the original model that we just created and trained 
So we have this um, uh, carriers.models.model here, and then we can get like the, the, the specific layer name um, in our model. So we want to get the input here and the output. So the input here is, is the layer that we called image in the model, and the output layer here will be the density layer. So we can actually like get the classes from that model, which is the output layer in our uh, in our model, and then then we'll create this model uh, prediction model here, which is the model that we're actually going to do predictions uh, for. So this model predict, uh, predicting pr predicting model here is actually like uh, the prediction model uh, where we have extracted these layers here until the output layer. So now we can do an another summary and see what is going on in this predict uh, prediction model here. Then we can go down here and create this utility function here to decode the output of the network. Because in the last video we talked about that we needed to encode uh, encode the output or like uh, the different kind of like characters in our neural network, so we can actually like work with um, and we can work with numbers instead of letters and stuff like that. And so we have this decode batch predictions here, so we can actually like decode the output of the neural network, so we can actually like see if we're predicting the true labels for our captures. So here we're just having this input length here, which is just the, the shape of our uh, of our pred here. So we get in a prediction here that we want to decode uh, as a, as a, as a parameter here to our function. We we'll look at the the zero shape here and also the first shape, and then we know the input length of uh, of that uh, input here to our neural network, which is a prediction, or like to this function here, which is a prediction. And then the results here will be we need to use this from the CTC uh, back in the year of carriers. So we use this uh, method here, which is CTC decode. And then we're going to decode the prediction here in the carriers backend. We specified in input length and we specify some other different kind of parameters, which is just uh, default, uh, which is greedy here. We set that equal to true. And then we just have some other different kind of parameters here uh, where we specify like the max length here. So the max length here is actually like uh, the max length of the of like the length of the like letters and the numbers in our uh, captures. Then we have our output text here with the actual output that we're going to uh, to to put on uh, to put in put in the string here. So we're going to iterate over the results and then we get back the, back the text. So we're actually like uh, decoding each individual character like a digit or or like letter in our in our in our capture and then we're going to actually like decode that and put it into the output vector here after or like output array here after we iterated through all the results so we have this result here so we go through each result in the results um, vector here or like a list here which is the result that we get up from this ctc decode uh, method up here then we can just uh, have this reduce join here and then we just have this numbered character so we actually like convert back from numbers to character where in the start of the of the of the uh, in the start of the code here and in the previous video we did characters to numbers so we're actually like working with numbers instead of characters when we're actually like training our neural network and doing predictions with them but when we're done doing predictions with them we need to like convert them back from numbers to characters so we can actually like see if we're predicting the true labels with our neural network so we just use this function here to actually like convert that back here again and then we can just append this rest here to the to the to the like the array here that we have so we have the output text here dot append and then each of the individual uh, letters or digits that we have decoded or read from the captures and then we're going to return this output text here which is the actual which is the actual text that we're predicting by reading a capture that we load into our neural network and then we can go down here and check the results on some some of the validation samples. So we just run through like our, our validation data set. Then we take uh, then we just take a number of samples from our validation set. So in this case here, because uh, we have specified a batch size, the number of batches uh, like the number of images that we have inside of this validation set here or in this for loop will be the batch size. So here we set the batch image here equal to batch uh, an image. So we take an image in and we take also a, a label. Then we're going to do predictions. So our predictions will be in this pret variable here. And to do actual predictions, we just do it as in all the other videos and throughout this tutorial here, uh, what cares, where we just have this prediction model. So our model we want to do predictions with. Then we call this method here predict on the model that, that we want to do predictions with and that we have trained. And then we just pass in the batch images here, uh, which is all the images in one batch in our validation data set. And then we do predictions with that. We store it here. And then we also have this decode batch predictions. So after we have done our predictions, we actually like want to decode our predictions so we can actually like get it into uh, our output text up here that we just went over in the function up here above. And then we both have our predictions and we have our predicted text here. So we actually like have our, our labels that we have read from the captures in this variable here.
then we have the original text here so we can see um if our uh if our uh if our model is correct uh correct uh, correctly predicting and then down here we're just going to, to plot the actual results so we can see so we're both plotting the images of the captures and we're also going to plot uh plot the labels that we're predicting or like the predicted text here um as the title of each of the individual subplots here that we're going to to do so if i run this function here we will do all of these different kind of things we will load in the different kind of badges we will load in the images from one batch in the validation set we will decode the, the, the predictions that we're doing then we have the true labels or the predicted labels from our prediction with this model here that we have trained and then we're actually just going to display that or like plot that with with uh with matplotlib so first of all here we saw that we, we had this uh prediction model here where we did a summary so first of all we see uh, a summary here of the model again and then down here we can see the actual we can see the actual like images here of the captures and then up here in the title here of each of the individual subplots here we can see what it is actually predicting so up here to the left corner just to take a couple of examples here we can see that it is predicting x and g x c which is a correct prediction we can see that we have an x and g x c here so this is from this image here or like from this capture here it is it is capable of reading like every single uh, letter in this example here it doesn't have any digits but if we take the second example here for example we have a c we have a three and uh eight and x and we again we have the correct predictions even though we're, we're operating with numbers now inside of our capture so we can actually like we are actually able to uh to actually like convert our letters to numbers and then convert it back again after it had been passed through our neural network so we can actually like do these predictions here with the letters as well and if we just go over a couple more examples like we can see here for example here it, we have a m x a b b but now in this case here it actually like thinks that this is a n instead of a, 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 a m m because we it could be like for example this black uh black line here it goes like a bit through the m here so it it, it sees this m here as a as an uh, as a n and then it actually like doesn't predict that correctly uh in this case here for this uh capture but down here we can see that it now predicts it fairly well again so that only has some different kind of like uh problems if some of the letters is actually like discarded a lot uh, by, by the, this black line here that goes through, we can see the M here again, it gets read by an N. We could pr try to optimize or like try to tr uh, train our neural network for, for, for a longer time and also tune some of the hyperparameters in our neural network and see if that helps uh, by predicting this M here because now it just thinks that each time it sees an M, it, it thinks that it is, it is an N. So that's pretty much it for this video here guys we've been over like the predictions with this neural network that we have now trained on the, the captures uh, data set here and then we created the neural network from scratch we trained it on the data set and now we have done predictions with it and we can see that it does fairly good predictions on captures that it hasn't seen before so the neural network hasn't seen any of these images here before but it is still able to uh, to predict a lot of the different kind of captures here correctly it has some problems uh, with for example the m or if the black line is is right uh, is right above like some letter or digit then it has some problems here there but we could pr try to optimize it by tuning it more and training it for more epochs and changing some of the hyperparameters inside of our neural network so it's a fairly good neural network and we're actually able to read captures by using this neural network here by just passing in the image and we get out the prediction with the true labels. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future because it just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I just really appreciate the support. I'm currently also doing a computer vision tutorial where we're talking about different kind of image uh, pre-processing techniques, operations. We, we're talking about stereo vision, camera calibration, and a lot of different kind of stuff like that. So if you're interested in that tutorial and computer vision, I'll link to it up here or else I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.